I've tried to start this vlog for the last like 15 minutes or so and for some reason I just can't talk to the camera like it's like in the past two weeks of not uploading I've just forgotten how to vlog so bear with me I feel like I'm I'm new to this again even though it's only been like two weeks since I last posted I hope you're doing good hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to wherever you are watching this my life over the last couple of weeks has been so busy I can't even explain like my personal life has just been yeah there's just so much going on all positive all like super exciting nothing to worry about at all but it does mean that often when my personal life gets like super busy the first thing that slips away are the vlogs that's because the style of video that I like to film is like either a day in my week or a couple of moments from throughout the week that are like put into one video as you know from watching them and then when life gets super busy if I'm trying to film at the same time I'm just not really enjoying the filming and then therefore I'm not enjoying the editing and therefore I'm uploading a video that I'm not the most like happy or proud of or that I really want people to watch and stuff so it's been a busy couple of weeks but we're back I'm super glad to be vlogging today it's currently like 118 in the afternoon it is just the most ridiculous weather i don't even know what the temperature is it must be like 30 degrees or something 29 degrees right now like it, i don't want i don't want to be that person but it's just too hot especially with otty like it is so hot it's currently what i call a daddy door today which means that i've got otty to myself today solo so this morning we went to a local farm and like saw the animals and played in the playground and got an ice cream and just had like a lovely time i didn't film it just wanted to have that moment for us but otty's currently now having a nap upstairs so i was like right it's the perfect time to start the vlog the house is nice and quiet it's just nice and chill i haven't even had a coffee yet today I haven't even had a coffee. I haven't even had my like, super greens that I take every morning. It's it's just too hot. So over the last couple of weeks, I've had a couple of deliveries arrive that I haven't opened yet because I've wanted to wait until I've been vlogging to open them. But I've just realized now that it kind of makes no difference because by the time this video now goes live from not uploading for two weeks, it would have already happened. The moment would have happened. So I've basically, I've got a couple of deliveries. Let me grab them. So tomorrow night, I'm going to see Harry Styles perform. And if you're an avid Harry Styles fan, you'll know that the outfit choice to wear to see him, you've got to put some thought into it. But... I can't really get your opinion on the outfit anymore because I'm going tomorrow night and this video's not going up for like five days or something. Ah, oh, this isn't even the delivery that I thought. This is new swim shorts that I've ordered for summer. I'll have to check up and see where the other delivery is. But anyways, this one here is the right one. I actually ordered two pieces from here. I don't think that's the one I'm gonna wear. I think this one is. In fact, Ronning, the company, hopefully I've pronounced that right, actually gifted me this shirt. I wear this stuff all the time. And they dropped me a DM the other day on Instagram and they've actually sent this to me. So if they're watching, thank you so much. I thought I was going to be able to try on the outfit now and show you in the vlog. But obviously some of it hasn't arrived. So this is just the shirt that I'm thinking, which I'm going to wear open with like a white vest underneath. I feel like it's quite nice and airy. I would try it on now, but I might as well just find out where this other delivery is and then put it all together. And I'm actually gonna try and film bits on my iPhone of going to see Harry tomorrow night and then obviously strip the audio off of it but put it into this vlog as well. I've got about half an hour until Otty wakes up from her nap and I'm currently sat on the step between like the kitchen and the garden and it's just so chill. The weather is so nice. It's a little bit too windy to go outside and vlog. So that's why I'm sat here just finishing off my green juice which I've just spilt down myself, which is perfect. And I wasn't gonna actually chat about the sponsor of today's video until later on in the video, but I'm sitting here now and it's so relaxed and so chill that I'm like, this is the perfect time. This couldn't be more fitting to chat about the sponsor of the vlog, which is Headspace. Now Zoe's been using Headspace for, I don't even know how many years, probably like four years or something now, it could be even more. And she gradually got me into using it because she's like, Constantly got it on at night time, like playing it out loud once we're in bed, trying to go to sleep. She'll just be chilling in the garden, using Headspace. So obviously I downloaded it myself and it couldn't be more fitting with the main overarching goal of the year for me being simplicity. 
and just like slowing down and also at the same time my other goal which is getting in the best shape of my life for my 30th birthday which is in September and obviously like I've spoken about with that it's not just about like my physique being the best possible it's about everything in life it's about my physique being the best possible it's about my diet being the best possible it's about my mental health being the best possible it's about showing up and being the best possible father and dad that I can be and partner for Zoe I can be and boyfriend and cooking a lot more nutritious food and just spending more time in the kitchen enjoying the process of cooking obviously working out hard in the gym which I'm currently doing like four sessions a week now I'm pretty sure this is week 11 into it and I'm still like super consistent I haven't missed any like sessions or anything still regularly speaking to my therapist and then headspace itself adds into that as well which is just literally perfect and I'm so happy to be working with today. Headspace is basically like a mindfulness and meditation app that has millions of users and basically gives you tools and techniques and helps you navigate stress, focus, gratitude, sleep. There's even parenting stuff on there, anxiety. And for me, I love using it because it's such a realistic, easy way to implement those benefits into my life. And some of the sessions I do are like four minutes long. So it's perfect for if I'm like in the garden, just watering the veg patch or something, and I've just got my headphones in and I'm just listening to like a relaxation meditation. Or I could be like sat on the sofa the other day, I literally filmed a clip actually of this, of me having my lunch the other day. I'm just sitting there doing a little seven minute meditation, it was called Treat Yourself Today. And it was just a lovely little seven minutes whilst I was having my lunch. There is so much going on on the app that like it's not even possible for me to talk about in this video now. But I'll put a little screen recording on and have a scroll just so that you can see some of the categories that are available. Now the lovely guys over at Headspace have given me a link for you to use down below. And if you use it you'll get 60 days free of Headspace. Normally these kind of things are only like a seven day free trial but they've given 60 days. So click the link down below. I love that by working with Headspace on this video, I'm bringing like mindfulness, gratitude, less stress, less anxiety into your life. So definitely go check it out and let me know what you think. I've just seen my shoes. Tell me you've got a toddler without telling me you've got a toddler. <laughs> As I said, it's pretty windy, so hopefully you can still hear me all good. In a, um, in a vlog that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago, I showed the bouncy castle that I bought my mate's twins for their second birthday. And ever since the birthday, he's been sending me a bunch of videos of them just having the absolute best time on the bouncy castle. So Zoe and I were chatting about it, and I was like, I think we need to get something similar for Otty for summer. So I spent a chunk of time one evening looking into like all different options and different bits that can attach like water to them and slides and if you've been watching the vlogs for a while you'll know that I used to buy this kind of stuff all the time in my late teens but now I actually get to buy it for my daughter and enjoy it in a completely new far more exciting way which is really nice. It does also have like a water attachment on it so you can like fill parts of it up with water. I haven't done that yet I don't think I'm going to do it today. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, the urge for me to buy a more aesthetically pleasing version of this for the garden, like they had lovely ones that were just like all plain white and they looked so much more like minimalist and relaxing and like nice to have in the garden but I just know that this is the kind of thing that Otis going to have way more fun on than something that looks a little bit nicer. I know I keep moaning about how hot it is but this is a visual representation right now in my house. This is one of our candles. Got all your sun cream on, don't we? You got your Crocs on? Which hat do you want to pick? Okay. You want this one? Yeah? Bob. Have you seen what's in the garden? Cattle. Dinosaur? Baby mm. cattle. Bouncy castle? Yeah. Come on then. <laughs> is that exciting? Oh, you want your shoes off? Pop! One, two. There you go. Good girl, feet up. 
Nice. You ready? One, two, three. Go. Go. <laughs> like since the last time you probably saw Otty, which was only a couple of weeks ago, she has developed so much and grown so much. Yeah. What do you want? She's now stringing together. I think the most I've heard her say is like seven words in a row. She'll now just come over to me casually and just say little sentences like, hello daddy, I love you, cold water drink. Is that, is that what you say? Which I feel like when I last filmed a video, she wasn't speaking like that. Like she was stringing two or three words together occasionally, but now she'll just come out with like little sentences and I don't even know where she's got the like sayings or words or the flow of words from. I guess it must just be spending time with our family or just like hearing things on the TV or if Zoe and I are watching something then she like overhears a sentence or a word. I remember in one of my most recent videos I was in the garden here actually and I was speaking about how this age of Otty is my absolute favourite that there's ever been and now I'm sat here and this age that she's currently at, even though it's only like a month on or so, is my absolute favorite like you can have full-on little conversations with her and she can fully understand and you can like negotiate now um like if she wants a snack or something i can be like okay you can get a snack if you go and get your shoes and your hat and you bring them over and you sit down with them then we'll get a snack and then she'll like go and get her shoes from by the front door and go get her hat from by the back door and sit down waiting and she's just such a little person now and just has so much personality can you tell me what's on your clothes they're actually pajamas What's on your pajamas? See, just speak so much. <laughs> After I said all of that, she literally just ignored me and walked away. <laughs> Should we play one of your favorite games? This is a game that we spend so much time at the moment playing together. Oh, sorry, I dropped two more. Should we turn them all over the right way? And the reason I'm filming in here and not in her playroom is because if you saw how messy Otty's playroom was right now, I, I literally can't even vlog it baby because toy. it is so messy. Baby toy. Yeah, it's full of baby toys, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah, we're not going to watch the TV. We're going to play with these. Look, can you find me a zebra? Where's a zebra? Hey, there we go. Can you find me an aeroplane? Oh no. Oh no. Good job. Oh, what's that one? Shoes. Some shoes. What else can you find? Hi. What is this one? Shark doo doo. Shark doo doo, yeah. Shark doo doo. Daddy. Shark doo doo. Daddy. Shark doo doo. Daddy. Daddy. Shark doo 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 doo. doo. little evening gym session going on. Luckily, it's leg day and Joe doesn't have the most time. He's got stuff he's got to get back home for. So yeah. unfortunately, we haven't been able to do the biggest leg work. Hey, just because I, no, hang on. Such it's, a shame. Just because I've got to go home early, doesn't mean that Alfie does, because he lives here. So you can carry on nah, work. It's a team this. effort, bro. It's a team effort. If I'm, if we're not, we're in this together. I don't want to be getting bigger legs than you. You're too big to need spot. We're okay. in this together, bro. So we're doing a little bit of legs as you've just seen. What do you mean you don't want bigger legs than that? Have you seen the size of my legs? <laughs> my it's impossible off. to have legs smaller than mine. <laughs> so we're doing some pull-ups as well. Oh, but why great? Also, I wore a vest because I thought we were going to be doing like shoulders or... Oh no, my camera just died as well. Camera's going to die in three, two, one, now. Now. <laughs> now. You gotta keep doing pull-ups till the camera dies. All right, switched over to the iPhone. Joe's getting the press ups in. How many are we doing? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. How deep did you go on these? Like that? Yeah, deep as you can. Right. Try as well. Three. Right, there's no way you did twenty-five. Yeah, I swear it's down. Twenty-five. I've done 15. I'll do another And my five. arms are done. Keep going, keep going. 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6. Come on, do it for Nala. Come on, for Nala. Do it for Nala. For Nala? Come on. Do it for Otty. Get his last two out. 
Nice work. One more. Up. One more, come on. Do it for Zoe. <laughs> well done. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my PT works. <laughs> the Joe Sug PT. Working out in this weather is too much. Last one. Go on, do one extra one. No. Go on, take your 26. That's 25. I think you only did 23. I think you lied. 50 press ups. Seriously, though, there's going to be no way I can do 25 more. We're going to do five sets of five. Yeah. One, two. Now you've got 25. Come three. on. Oh, what do Keep going. Keep going. One, two. One press up equals one like. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> one press up equals one oh. sub. <laughs> one sub per press up. I want to see you guys at home hit that like button. <laughs> I don't even know how many more I've got. I think I have five. I have the body of a above average. 12-year-old. <laughs> like, you know, you know that like kid in year seven that was a little bit muscular, you're like, oh, bloody hell. I'm not year seven, that's me. That's my body type. Which is not a compliment to me in any way. <laughs> oh. Three, two, one. Yeah. Start. <laughs> you, you, oh. you can't quit. Come on, you can't quit. <sighs> Bye. Come on. Best shape of my life if I'm 30. You're getting beaten by year seven. Well, <laughs> 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 I'm like an ant. I'm deceptively strong for my size. You're like a rock climber. Oh, man. I don't normally moan this much during the workout. <laughs> the one time I decide to vlog a workout, <laughs> and also the one time I wear a vest this tight is the time we don't train arms. Yeah, those shoulders there. Look at the shoulders. <sighs> Bulge now. You can eat dinner off those. Right, it's currently the next day. The second package arrived, which was basically the vest that I'm wearing. What did you buy that this. special vest for it? I actually bought six vests. Oh my and god! And then I just thought I'll return whichever ones I don't want to wear. We're gonna laugh or end up this. just keeping them for summer. I wanted to find a fan, and I couldn't, so I found a piece of card. Oh, it's in like fan your hat, your face. Yeah, so I found a piece of card. <laughs> just in case. We'll have to see Harry Styles. <laughs> oh, have you not said yet? I think I have. Bobby's outfit is sick. I mean, my trousers are. Check these out. <laughs> and you've got all your head gems on. I have We're... a glitter in the bag as well. You have? Yeah. Mark's got some like heart sunglasses as well. Zoe was meant to be coming, oh. and last minute she can't come. And she's so gutted. And she actually bought us these tickets as well for Christmas. We're gonna go again. We're gonna go see him again. Go again. At some point, some point she just last minute couldn't come, and she bought us all these tickets for Christmas. For Christmas it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very hot though. Can you put the aircon? Yeah, I've had to turn the aircon off so I can vlog. Oh right, God. we are currently like two and a half hours away, so I'm attempting to drive. I don't know if I'm even going to park anywhere near there, but we'll see well, what happens. Well, don't say that. We have lucked out so hard with the parking. Mark oh, Ferris God. has booked a hotel nearby, and because of his hotel room, we've been able to come to a car park like right near his hotel. That, that was a long drive, I'm not gonna lie. That was three hours. I don't need a protein bar. Not not to go and see Harry. What I do need though, <laughs> is a little spritz of this. We're walking up the stairs on the way now. I just forget every time I come here how big this venue is. I've also got a little feather boa that I bought. Out now. Oh my God, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> just casually walking in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. God, we just lost Mark for a minute. We lost you already. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. It is just so big. Every time I come, this venue is just bigger than you ever even remember. So I think this little bit down here is where our tickets are, which is just ridiculous. We're like so close to the stage. Yeah, we're in the middle. Bit. No, we're not. are we in the middle bit? No, we're not. Yeah.
opportunity to spend the evening with us here. We are over the moon to be tonight. Thank you so, so much. It means so much to us being here with us. Harry's just finished. We've just all been saying about how much we wished that we were coming tomorrow. I get it now. Like I, I totally Surprise! Get it. More tickets. Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> I get it. I get the, the camping out. I get all of it. That was unbelievable. Zoe, if you're watching, I mean, I'm going to say this to you in person, but thank you so much for the tickets. Yeah, oh my god. I love you. Miss you. No, because Zoe's not, like, not here and she's the one who bought all of our tickets. Really nice, but... So yeah, just just Mark's now voice not in Zoe. I was just about to sit down on the sofa and have a little recap of tonight, but I've just seen the time and I think it's too late to even do so. It's currently five to two in the morning. Just dropped Poppy back as well. That was just, yeah, I mean, I've been, one Direction fan, as you know, if you've been watching the videos for ever since they started. I had my early, early YouTube videos way back in the day were like miming 1D songs with my friend Marcus and stuff. So seeing Harry perform as he does to just such a big, amazing crowd, like the vibe of the people that were there this evening was just unmatched. His crowd, his audience, his fan base, whatever you want to call them, is like... Yeah, I can't I can't even explain. It's just like the most friendly, lovely bunch of people who are just so like I've never been to such a big venue and everyone be so respectful. Like it was just such a nice environment, such a lovely vibe to be in. And obviously I was incredibly lucky with the tickets that I got, like, oh my gosh, I like I knew that they were good because Zoe said like yeah, these are really, really special tickets, and they're in Johnny's place. But I totally didn't realise just how good they were. Like, I thought, like, I knew that they were going to be, like, standing and, like, on the floor, nearish the front. But, I, you know, I didn't realise that we were, like, smack bang, like, in the middle of the stage. We are so lucky to ever experience that. Anyways, I need to stop, stop vlogging, because this video is going to be incredibly long. But also, it's now three minutes to two, and I've got to be up at 6am tomorrow. So, I need to get to sleep. And, on that note, you know exactly how I'm going to be getting sleep tonight. Putting a little bit of headspace on. Just going to find one now. Going on sleep. This sounds like a little bit of me. A nine minute sleep and ease meditation. Welcome That's to what. this shine. Oh, that's what I'm going to listen to in a minute when I go to bed. Right, I'm going to head up. I'm going to end off this vlog properly tomorrow because I want to add a little bit in as I'm doing at the end of each video now, answering a question that somebody left in the previous video. But I'm definitely not doing that now. I need to, I need to go to bed. What a night last night was. I still can't stop thinking about it and just chatting to friends about it. I've still got on the vest that I was wearing yesterday. I need to go get in the shower, but I just wanted to end off the vlog first. I've got a couple of things that I just want to mention. And the first one being that as you're watching this, the brand new Future Self clothing collection, which is all inspired by coffee, has just launched over on the website. I haven't got it on because, as I said, I've literally just chucked back on the vest that I was wearing yesterday. But it is a beautiful collection. We've worked on it for so long. I feel like I should be promoting it much better. I'm not even wearing the pieces, but definitely go over to the website, go check it out. They're such lovely pieces. <laughs> Secondly, hello mate, is the question of the video, which I'm going to switch up. I do want to take a question from the comment section of each video and answer it in the next one. But because of last night, I kind of feel like I want to ask the question myself. So the question is, if you could see anybody perform, a band or an individual, live, who would it be? Anybody at all. My camera just ran out of memory. Dead or alive, who is the person? They're going to come to your city and perform. If you could see anyone, drop it down below. I want to know who it is. And then lastly is, go check out Headspace. I've mentioned it multiple times, but I thought it'd be good to mention it now at the end because the video is about to finish 
and then you can literally go check it out. Just a little reminder, if you want to have a nice de-stress, a little something to help you relax, meditate, a little bit of mindfulness, the link is down below, go check it out. I think that's it for this video. I think this is a long video. I feel like this is probably like near on, on half an hour, which for me at the moment with my life, as I said, just being incredibly busy, that's a long video. I'm excited to, excited to get it up after two weeks off. If you haven't already, go down below and hit the little thumbs up button. It takes one second of your time. Subscribe if you're not already. There's more people that watch these videos that aren't subscribed than are subscribed. So if you've got a YouTube account, if you're currently logged in, hit the little subscribe button. Then you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I need to get inside and get a drink. It is hot. I'll see you next week with another new video. Appreciate you watching.